Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon and welcome. I'm delighted you're here. You were calling the previous video. <laughs> I drank the coffee. I salute coffee drinkers. I don't know how you do it. That aftertaste, you must carry around about three pounds of mints with you all day long in order to kill that aftertaste. But anyway, I did do it and honestly, it really wasn't all that bad, but I still prefer the English breakfast tea. Anyway, another little bit of housekeeping. I mentioned in the previous video by showing you a little scroll line on the video that I'm looking for a drill press. Some of you already have a drill press and you know what you're missing. You know what you've got that you really like. I need to get feedback from you because I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money because I only use it for a short period of time. But I'm looking for a good drill press. I considered a floor stand model and I've considered a desktop and I'm leaning more to the desktop. The big thing I want to drill press for is when I turn the neck like this and I drill the holes down to put the inserts on so that I can bolt the neck to the guitar. That's what I really need it for. That's where a floor model comes in handy because you've got all that depth. The desktop doesn't give you that much. It only goes 45 degrees. So I'm going to have to make a jig and I've got that figured out how I can do that to get it upright. So let me know. Uh, you've got the email down below. There's all kinds of links down there. Go look at them and, and click on them or do whatever, but send me an email. Let me know what you're thinking of. I'm also thinking of another Q&A time, Tea with Monty, so let me know what you think. So an issue came up when I told you in the previous video that I was going to take it down to the size that we need for the back. And I mentioned chatter, and I want to show you something that happens with chatter. When you take your plane and you're planing around here, you're going with the grain. Everything is working just hunky-dory. And then you come to a part where it's a little rough and it's because the grain has changed in the wood. We can't control that. It's just the way the tree grew. So what happens is you get a little bit of a, a bubble in it. And so I made a chart here and it's like this. You come across here. Let me bring this up closer so you can see it. You come across here and you get this little tear out, this little bead that pops out. Well, what happens in a situation like that is when you run your plane, you, you want to run over, but it, it keeps grabbing this far edge and it keeps expanding this little chip out. The other danger is as you're coming along here, it lowers this side and if you push too hard, your plane blade hits into this end and causes this to shatter or to crack, and you don't want that. So how do you fix that? That's what we're going to show you right now. There are a couple of methods you can use to fix that. This is a scraper. Here's another scraper that you can use. And you can take these scrapers and you can put it into the hole and then extend it. Put it into the hole and extend it. It'll take you forever to get that down level. And if you run around the same way on the top and it hits, it's going to do the same thing. What I've done is I've got a piece of plastic here. I've knocked off the edges. I cut this thing to size. This is just a small piece. And I ran it around with the sandpaper and just smoothed it up. And it becomes a sanding block. You could use wood if you wanted. I then take some 100 sandpaper and I put it over that area. I know I'm not down to the line because I can see the line on the side here. And so I just simply go around like this until I get it perfectly smooth. Now, I thought I had this thing perfectly smooth and I run my finger over it. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Then I took my fingernail and I ran my finger. Ah. I can feel just the slightest little bit of a bump there. So I just get the sandpaper out and I come down. I'm not going below this point. So I've got to be very careful where I'm sanding and how that's going to look. That will bring me back to a nice smooth piece that I can cut away. Now, the second point is this thing. 
what I did is I realized one of the reasons for chatter is sometimes the blade is dull. So I took it off, I put it back into my Veritas. This is from Lee Valley. This is a, a tool that I use for sharpening. I got out my piece of glass, which is here. This is a, about a 3 8 inch thick piece of glass. I put the sandpaper over the top of it, and then I simply put the blade into the holder here, and then I, I run it back and forth like this over the sandpaper. And what that does is it puts a nice sharp edge on it. Now, if you're sharpening using something like that with a blade, don't forget to do the back side of the blade first, like this, to keep that nice and flat, then you put the bevel on it. So that's about it. So I just wanted to point out this chatter thing because that's important. And if you're building along with me, what can happen is you can hit that and you split your whole guitar and you think, oh my goodness, what have I done? This is no good. And I don't want you to do that. So that's just a quick video to indicate there's a problem here and that's how you fix it. Now, there's a problem here and that is that I haven't had my sip of English breakfast tea. And so in order to make this day absolutely perfect, we're gonna have a little bit of tea. Oh man, that is so good. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button, and by all means, get yourself some English breakfast tea. There are links down below there where you can go. And by the way, don't forget, I'm on Instagram and I'm posting pictures and you'll see a picture of the end of this and on how you cut that out. It's all up there on Instagram already. So go take a look at that and subscribe there if you want to follow me on Instagram. There's 1,500 pictures of me making guitars in the various stages. So you'll see everything that you need to know. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you very much. Oh man, that is so good. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. Coffee drinkers, challenge. Get yourself some English breakfast. I did the coffee. You go and do an English breakfast tea. Email me if you wish and let me know how you feel about it. And if you know somebody else that's interested in these videos and some of the comments I write in that comment section on the YouTube page, and it's now available, I believe, on the, on the uh, mobile phones, by all means, uh, pass that along to other people. I, the more the merrier. I, I'm in this to help people. So let's carry on. See you later. Bye for now.